Welcome to the video of Embedded C program for LED flashing but here we are using or generating a delay using timer and then we'll see compilation and simulation of this program using Keel software. So we are writing here Embedded C program to flash LEDs but delay which we are going to generate is using timer. So this is the interfacing uh, diagram, the same diagram which we have used to flash LEDs using simple delay, a for loop we have used to generate a delay. So same interfacing diagram we are using here, at port P2, 8 LEDs are connected, here reset circuit is connected and here crystal circuit is connected. VCC terminal is connected to plus 5 volt and pin number 20 is connected to ground. So here we are going to use timer 0 in mode 1 to generate a delay. The delay calculations and the assembly language program is already discussed in the previous videos. So you can go through that videos uh, to check how to compute a delay and how to initialize the registers and how to write this program in assembly language. Here uh, we will just see how to write the program in C language, embedded C language. So as I told you, when we are writing the program in kill software, that means when we are using a kill compiler, the first step is include this file reg51.h. So this file we have to include first. And after this in kill software, whenever you are writing a program, whenever you want to use a single bit for example here we want to use tcon.4 bit tcon.4 bit is uh, for starting of timer to start a timer 0 we have to initialize tcon.4 bit with logic 1 that means in program we are going to use this single bit so whenever you want to use a single bit in kill compiler you have to declare this bit as s bit it indicates it is a single bit and you can give any name to this bit here i have given name as timer underscore control 4 since it is bit number 4 of timer control register i have used this name but you can use any name for this and that is assigned to that pin tcon cap 4 so for dot 4 here cap you have to use it indicates that now onwards in program instead of tcon dot 4 you can use this name timer underscore control 4 similarly we are also using a flag bit that is tcon dot 5 so since we are using this single bit we have to declare it as a s bit and this declaration is global declaration we are not declaring it any function but globally after uh, including this file you can write this so name to this tcon.5 i have given here timer underscore control 5 you can give any other name and that is assigned to pin tcon cap 5 so now here onward for tcon.4 we'll use timer underscore control 4 and for tcon.5 we'll use timer underscore control 5. Now always we'll write a functions fun first, other functions first and then uh, at last we'll write a main function. So we are generating delay using timer 0 in mode 1. So we'll write here delay function. For all initialization of resistors and computation of count for delay, you can observe the previous videos. So I, I have declared as an integer this variable I'm going to use in program. So first in register we have to initialize is timer mode control register that is T mod register for timer 0 in mode 1 we have to initialize it with value 0x01 so the 0x01 is stored in t mod register then next here i am going to use a for loop first go through these instructions and then we'll see 
Now, for count, uh, this TH0 register should be initialized with 0x dB, that is dBH should be stored in TH0 and FFH should be stored in TL0. As I told you, we have already discussed about this count calculation. This count will generate a delay of 10 milliseconds. Now we want a program to generate a delay of 1 second. So we are going to write a program which will generate delay of 10 millisecond and we will execute this program for 100 times. So 10 millisecond delay we are executing 100 times. So total we will get a 1000 milliseconds and that is equal to 1 second. Same logic we have used for assembly language program. So first this count registers are initialized with this count and then we will start a timer. To start timer this tcon.4 should be at logic 1. So this name is given for tcon.4 will initialize with 1. So timer will start. Now we want to check uh, whether the flag bit that is tf0 is 1 or not. So to check whether it is 1 or not, we will use here while loop. So whenever in the embedded C program you want to check any bit, you can use this while loop. So while timer underscore control 5 is not equal to 1, that means when it is 0, condition is true and it will execute this while loop. But when it is equal to 1, condition will fall and it will come out of the loop. So when TF0 flag bit is set to 1, it will come out of the loop. When it will come out of the loop, the delay is over. So we will stop a timer and uh, we will clear this flag bit so that uh, it can be uh, set to 1 for the next iteration. And then we will complete this loop. So this loop is completed. So this program will generate delay of 10 milliseconds. Now we want to execute this program 100 times. So we will use here for loop. So 64 is written in hex. That means it is 100 in decimal. So we can initialize i with hex value also. So here hex number is used 0x64 or you can write 100 in decimal. So this loop will be executed 100 times, uh, will complete this for loop and then uh, this delay function. So this program will generate a delay of uh, 1000 millisecond, that means 1 second. So after this delay function, we will write a main function. So void main, uh, it is not going to return any value. And as usual, we will write our embedded C program in while one loop because we want to execute it continuously. Continuously, we want to flash LED. Now, this is simple. On port P2, we will send a 00H. So, all LEDs are off. We will keep this LEDs off for one second. So, we will call here delay. Then, we will send FFH on port P2. So, P2 is initialized with 0X FFH. All LEDs will glow and we will keep them on for one second delay. So we will call a delay and we will complete this while loop bracket and then main function bracket. So this program will continuously flash these LEDs with delay of one second. So get a proper delay. We have used here timer 0 in mode 1. Now let us see how to compile and simulate this program using Keel software. So here I have created a project, actually same project I have used here, LED underscore flash, uh, which we have used for simple LED flashing program uh, using for loop. Uh, and the program uh, using this timer generation, um, I have pasted here. So same program you can see here. So, we will save this program and build this program. Check for any error. So, zero error and zero warning. So, we can debug this program. Click on debug and start this debug section. This message will be displayed. Click on OK. Here already P2 port is open. 
uh, we can debug this program so directly I will run this program by pressing F5 so you can observe the LEDs are flashing the delay we have generated using this timer the same program is written here you can check uh, timer also click on peripheral click on timer and we are using timer 0 so click on timer 0 here you can observe the count is incrementing after each clock cycle and uh, when tf0 is 1 that is not seen here actually it is very fast but when it is 0 that means when count reaches to ffh this tf0 will be uh, 1 and when it is 1 the delay will be over and you can observe flashing of LEDs you can execute program step by step also using F11 and observe the count how it is incrementing and how TF0 is uh, 1 after this count reaches to FFH so it will take a time so this is how you can uh, use a timer to generate a count and flash this LEDs